easiest way to do that at Eagles Nest is connect to us through our database called Realm, or you can find us on our Facebook page through you, YouTube. What? What is this? Associate Pastor Jay, I presume. Well, hey, Edgar, how you doing? I thought maybe this was you. So, I see that um, you're in the middle of uh, doing whatever this is. This is your job, I assume? Yeah, this is one of the aspects is to try and communicate with the church through the TV camera or the computer or your phone. Um, Mr. Associate, um, uh, let me, if I might call you that. No, that's probably not going to work. No, Mr. Associate, <laughs> um, Pastor. Yes. Uh, it, when it says Associate Pastor, who do you associate with? <laughs> Well, uh, that's a good question, Edgar. Associate with the people of Eagle's Nest. Oh, I see. And they call you Pastor J, right? Yes. How do you think they feel about calling you Pastor One Letter? <laughs> uh, it is a letter of the alphabet, but my name's actually three letters, J-A-Y. Uh, how do they feel talking to a pastor who could only be one letter, but no, he feels like he's going to spell it out and make it pretentious by you making it three? Even though it sounds like one. Uh, I guess you'd have to ask them that question, Edgar. Oh, I'd like to. If you could show me, point me in the right direction of who I need to associate with. Yes, you can just talk to that camera right there. If they wouldn't mind commenting down below exactly what, how they feel on a scale of one to ten about associating with the associate pastor. So what does associate actually get to do? There's a lot of things that we get to do. Basically, all the different ministries and things that get to happen on this campus, mm -hmm. I get to work with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, everything? Uh, everything. You can associate with everything? A lot of things, yes. Do you ever get tired? I do. Really? Yeah, sometimes. Why, why in the world would you have to associate with everything? Isn't that Pastor Bob's job? It is Pastor Bob's job, but I help kind of negotiate between the leadership and the different ministry leaders to take some of the load off of Pastor Bob's plate. He's the lead pastor. Yes, So definitely. he leads you, mm -hmm. but he's a servant. Correct. So, so what does that make you? An associate servant? <laughs> yes, I guess that's a good way to say it. Sure. It seems here that uh, you were born in uh, Florida. Yes, Florida. That's correct. Hmm. So you're not a Delawarean? No, I'm not. I, I just moved here. Hmm. So uh, why should anybody from Delaware listen to you? Huh, that's a good question. Especially being from Florida. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, that's up to them if they, if they don't want to listen to me, but... Did you ever wrestle an alligator? I've never wrestled an alligator, but yes, I've been with some alligators swimming and Did you skiing. ever eat an alligator? I have eaten some alligator, yes. Is that wrong? Does it taste like chicken? <laughs> it tastes like a little bit tougher level of chicken. Oh, wow. Well, I can't do that. I don't have the teeth for it. No, I see that. Mm -hmm. You'd have to gum it, like those gummy bears I gave you the other day. Yeah, hey, thanks for those, by the way. Sure. Mm-hmm. I still feel like you owe me chocolate, though. Anyway, <laughs> and when you live in Florida, do you have to pledge allegiance to America and the Mickey Mouse? <laughs> yeah. uh, J. Michael? Yes, Michael is mm. my middle name. Did you grow up in the 80s? <laughs> I did. J. Michael matter. Flack. I did. <laughs> I did grow up in the 80s, and yes, it is some association to Michael J. Fox. Ah, I knew it. I knew mm -hmm. it. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. embarrassed to say that. No, you're not? No. Not oh, okay. Ha, ah, rats. Okay. Um, no, no, no. You're, you are an associate pastor. Yes. And you, and you do this video thing all the time. I do it quite a bit, yes. Yeah. So um, is, this, is, this, is this something that associate pastors should do? To be or not to be, that is the question. So is that something that an associate pastor does? Well, yeah, you've got me on Or tape. what about this? Strengthen your biblical worldview and help navigate this online community that we want to call... <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen, I've got an update for you. I clapped. Rats. Why did I do that? Did you hear that? Uh-huh. I don't know why I did that. That little happy clap. All right, here we go with announcements. October 18th. Take one. Uh, probably just do this. That's great. This, this, okay. You just you started leaning to, on, into the cross. Hey, everybody, don't yeah. do that. Stay over here. Hey, hey, hey everybody. 
Oh wait, back, back edge. Right about there. Hey everybody. Early on. <laughs> well, hey, 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 well, that's really hard to do. Hello. <laughs> Announcements. You are right there. 10 4, take 9. Oh. Doing some silly stuff with your face. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, I remember. Messing up that. some cuts. I do sometimes mess up and have to retake, yes. Uh, okay, so um, please, 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 please tell us why it's okay that you could waste some footage like that. Because <laughs> I'm only human, Edgar. Oh, well, it makes one of us. Okay, what about <laughs> this? I don't. I mean, it's I never, crunchy. I never thought about putting a goldfish on an ice cream, but it's actually pretty good. Is it pretty good? You have the salty with Was the... that mustard, though, that I taste? There is mustard in no, the ice cream. You don't usually put ice mustard on your ice again. cream at home? No, I never no. tried that. Mm. Salt and vinegar. Uh huh. There's salt vinegar with chips. mustard and apple. Mm -hmm. Maybe apple? some apple um, pie filling is in there. That yeah. And this is a fish stick. This that's a fish stick. Oh gosh, you're brave. You are a brave pastor. <laughs> I mean the mustard and the sweet salty thing going on. And, yeah. I mean, might as well go for it. Oh, Let's just do pizza? it. Is that bacon? Mmm. I remember that. Yes. Mm hmm Yes. I bet that tasted good. You know, I was just trying to be a good team player and associate with our Eagles Nest Kids Daily Dose Show, which you're a big part of. I just think you're weird. <laughs> that may be true, yes. I mean, that, psst, that was a fish stick. <sighs> and I don't know how long that, how old that was. <laughs> it didn't taste fresh, I'll say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't the best, but... But you're from Florida. So. We're from Florida, and I do what I have to do. All right, Pastor. Mm -hmm. If you associate... You associate with Pastor Bob? I do, yes. Really? Yes. What's he like, really? Pastor Bob uh -huh. is uh -huh. Uh -huh. a great friend, and he's a good leader. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. well, I'm doing this investigative reporting stuff yep. on what pastors really, 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 really do, mm -hmm. and you're not giving me much dirt at all. Dirt. Well, you know what? We're all human, and so we don't want to look at him like something that he isn't. He makes mistakes, but when he does, mm -hmm. he always apologizes and helps us move forward, even though he's the boss. I think that's a great leader. Yeah, but that doesn't make a great story. No, it probably doesn't. Hmm. I don't have any dirt on him, if that's what you're asking. Okay. Well, then um, maybe I can investigate you. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you certainly can, yes. All right, let me dig a little deeper. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. Okay. Continue with your announcements. And that, my friends, mm. is a wrap. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to KDD, and today is Thursday, so you know what that is, it's interview day. And we are still celebrating Pastor Appreciation Week, and this week we have our regular guest, I think we can call him that at this point, Pastor Jay. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Thank you for coming again. Yeah. We love having you, and I promise we are not going to make you eat anything. Oh, thank goodness. So, I wanted to get that out there. <laughs> Great. <laughs> no no uh, rock-hard pizza. Okay. So, um, I want to apologize first for Edgar. Uh, he has just got it in his head this week, or this month, with being Pastor Appreciation Month, that he wants to be the investigative reporter. Or, yes, I got that vibe from him earlier. <clears throat> yeah, so and he's I... He's very good at yes. it. Yes. Well, he, he gives... Um, he's enthusiastic about he it. He is. He's been giving all the pastors an earlier time yes. to meet on stage. Mm -hmm. And I don't realize... Or I heard he interrupted your... You were he shooting did. for this weekend. I, I was in the middle of doing the announcement segment, which we record, and <sighs> there was my good friend, Edgar. But you know what? I had been told by Pastor Bob and John that it might happen because they've already been duped by our little friend. Okay. So. All right. I heard he has like the little, you know, he's all dressed in Oh, his, it's, it's, he's into it. He is. <laughs> he's a true investigative reporter. reporter. I have to give him that. Edgar. Yes. <laughs> Very well, thrilling. good. I'm glad you were forewarned. <laughs> I was. <laughs> and I hope you're also forewarned. Um, so on Thursdays, we do an interview now with questions. So uh -huh. And I'm going to be asking you a couple questions. Yeah. Somebody from the staff sent me some notes. So I kind of okay. came prepared. Great. Great. 
Um, now, usually, since it's Pastor Appreciation Month, we talk about what you do as a pastor, mm -hmm. and you're the associate pastor here. And we've talked before on an earlier show, yes, I think it was one of our first weeks, our, yes. it was our first week, mm -hmm. I think, what you do as an associate pastor. Yes. Um, but since then, I think your plate has even gotten a little more full mm -hmm. uh, with our online campus. Yes. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yes. So we've been able to not only do church the way we've always done it, where you show up to the building, we have Eagles Nest Kids, and we show up here live, but now we're able to do it online. And so all the different ways that we can promote that, the KDD show, uh, how we do our services, all happening online through social media, Facebook, and et cetera, um, has really changed the way we do ministry. But we do those things recorded during the week. So yeah. it's an extra step, but it's a lot of fun to do. Yeah. And you've put together an online team, mm -hmm. which I get to be part of. And yes. um, we meet and we kind of go over. Couldn't do it myself. We've yeah. got lots of people helping us with graphics and logos and editing and video shots and yeah. all the different people that make up our team, including yeah. you. Yeah. Um, to Script support writing. the campus. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's great. Uh, um, so I have three questions okay. that I was going to ask you. Um, we have what's called the So and So Show. Mm -hmm. oh, you've probably seen it. Oh, yeah. Um, it's super fun, but they have a question of the week. So the question this week is, why is it important for people to trust you? Well, uh, thank you for that question. Trust is an actual, um, very descriptive word. You know what it means. Um, when you're able to actually rely on somebody that they're going to do what they say they're going to do, that they're going to be honest with you, and that they're going to be fair in many different ways. Um, and as a pastor, we have those opportunities all the time where people are sad or they're angry, or they're frustrated, or they're anxious, or they're dealing with different things, and they just need a friend to talk to. And that's really what pastors have the opportunity to do if the person can trust you, if they can feel safe with that information with mm -hmm. you. So Being able to handle lots of emotions. Yes. Lots of helping people through lots of different situations. Absolutely. And, mm -hmm. and just like we did on that first show, we talked about being a salt and a light. Mm -hmm. This is the opportunity to do that, but it really takes people to be able to trust you. And that's yeah. really what pastors hope to gain. So I also have three questions okay. that I ask yes. all of our guests. Are you ready? I think I got a memorized, now, but go ahead. Okay. Oh, good. You have a memorized? Was it easy Probably. for you? Yeah. I was thinking a pastor, this is a hard question to pinpoint one. Okay. But Pastor Bob was like this. No, I think I got him. Okay. Yeah. All right. What is your favorite Bible verse? That one's very easy. It started with me actually when I was a youth. Um, I picked up 1 Peter 5, 7. And there's several different translations that you can read. But first, how do you say it? F help me say it the right way in kids. Oh, it's 1 first Peter, Peter, big, big five, five, little, little seven. seven. Mm -hmm. And so the verse goes like this, cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. And it's a very simple reminder for me as we all deal with stress or anxiety, frustrations, the very things that people bring to pastors when they want to trust us. We have those same fears and anxieties too. And we have to rely on God to take care of those anxieties. So you have to trust God. We have to trust Him, yeah. ultimately. That's great. Yes. That's great. So this month's theme, that kind of plays into our kids, our little kids' theme is dancing in the rain. Uh -huh. And it's trusting God through the storm, cool. through the rain. Love that. So that your verse really fits That's well it. with that. Yes. Um, and your second question is, what is your favorite Bible story? story. That one is also easy because it stands out for me. I know I listen to Pastor, I watch Pastor Bob do the show and Pastor John. Um, but for me, it's the story of Joseph. There's always something special about the story of Joseph because he's never dealt, like you don't see his life as like a perfect life. He gives all the life struggles and things that I would deal with, you would deal with. Yeah. Um, and he goes through them with a very strong faith, yeah. getting them through. So he it wasn't He trusted an easy God's way. plan. He trusted God's plan, mm -hmm. and God eventually brings him yeah. to the other side yeah. successfully. Love Lots Joseph. of ups and downs. Yeah, that's an awesome mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. I like his coat too. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> and all right, this is important. Okay. Now I know you'll probably say crazy ice cream Sunday, but I'm going <laughs> to ask it anyway. What is your favorite food that you thank God for? Well, I, I'm thankful for my friends at KDD for creating that colorful Sunday. That's not going to make the top of the list, though. I really, really love a hot, juicy cheeseburger. And I just like it simple. I just like the beef, 
the cheese and ketchup. Oh. Not a whole lot of stuff no on pickles? it. No pickles? I mean, I can do it, but just straight out the gate, mm. that's what I'm looking for. A nice cheeseburger. What kind of cheese? American. That is like that is me. I I could do that. Yeah, I a good burger that. on a good on a, on a cold day is a great day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now you're making me want a good burger. Uh, hey. Let's All right, go. guys. I think we're gonna go get burgers. <laughs> yeah. All right. So until next time, guys. Thank you. See you later. Let's go get a burger. All right. Come on. Yeah.